Sometimes you want your font to have that slanted effect, that italic look, and sometimes it's not always easy to do unless you know how to manipulate software like Illustrator or something, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pretty much make any font italic using Kittle. So let's check out how to do it right now. And if you want Kittle, don't have it yet, you can sign up to try it out for free. Even do what I'm doing in this video, just sign up using the link down below. So let's get started. All right, we've added some text here in Kittle and so so you can really do this with pretty much any font. Now we have some fonts that are already italic as you can see right here. Um, some of them are already going to have everything from regular all the way up to like super bold. But let's find a font that does not have an italic or oblique setting like this one. I love this one. Anton is a nice condensed font. Let's make it all caps and then we'll make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to add a little bit of letter spacing because what I'm going to do is make this kind of look like a newspaper uh, extra extra here. Uh, maybe we're doing like a big headline or something like that or like a you know an ad or something and to make this oblique I'm going to turn on the guys with command apostrophe I'm going to make them a little bit smaller you can do this from the settings by the way you can show the grid um, you can show the guidelines in the grid but all we have to do is click on distort right here and then if I grab this anchor point on the right I'll drag it to this first box basically one more box over I'll do the same thing with the left handle and then as you can see here I've made it oblique already I've made it slanted just like that and now if I go in here and I change it to any other font the setting that I've applied is the same so look there I've changed it here changed it here and it's keeping that same effect so you could even type into this and change your text easily I'll just select a couple more for you to see it keeps the same effect and so you can do this with virtually any font you can upload your own fonts to Kittle as well so if you're trying to get a specific look you can do it super super easily here with Kittle so as you can see here, it's super easy. Even fonts that you upload to Kittle, you can easily use that distort transformation effect. Grab a couple of those anchor points, move them over to the side, and then you have that slanted kind of momentum looking font style. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.